G'day. We run 500 hives and extended release oxalic acid strips are our primary method of treating mites. And when done properly, it works really well. This quick video is just about how we soak our strips and get them ready to put in hives. One of my recent videos showed putting them in the hives and because we sell these strips ready to be soaked, that raised a whole lot of questions and this video is aimed at answering them. The oxalic acid glycerin mixture that's in there has been heated to 60 or 70 degrees. Now, first things first, take the rubber bands off. You don't want them squeezed tight together when you're soaking them. The next important thing is that you want to get them each pile. I'm going to fill it right up to there because these are going to expand as they absorb the oxalic acid mixture. You want to get roughly the same height. So that one's higher than that one. I can shift them around. And because this container doesn't fit a nice neat number, I'm going to put some in on the side down here just to stop things from shifting around. So then the next thing is that when I put the mixture in here, these strips are going to want to float up. So I want to hold them down so that they all get submerged by the mixture. But at the same time, I don't want to put so much weight on there that they uh, get tightly compacted and the mixture can't soak in. So here's what I do. I get a bucket with some water in it and I put it in on top. And the reason I use a bucket of water is that I can easily add water or take water out of that bucket to get the amount of weight that I'm applying to these strips about right. So now, the next question. What temperature is this mixture? I've got it set at about 65. You can go up to 70. The hotter it is, the more the strips will absorb or the more easily they will absorb. But don't go too hot because at 147 degrees centigrade, oxalic acid vaporizes. And if you let that happen, that's a bad day for everybody in the area. The next really important point, how much mixture do I put in here? And the answer is, there needs to be enough so that when all of those strips have fully absorbed everything they're going to absorb, it's still full. The surplus mixture that's left over after you pull the strips out and wipe all the surplus off can go back into the vat and get heated up for the next batch. I'm not giving you any specific measurements here because I don't do it by measurement. I do it by feel and by experience. So what I want to do now is I want to weight that bucket just to the point where the mixture's near the top. Alright, last important point. When I come back here tomorrow, if any of these strips are not fully soaked, I will pull them out, put them to one side and add them to the next batch. They need to be 100% saturated with oxalic acid to be effective. Okay, so we've soaked these and before I take them away and weigh them, I've gone through and scraped off the excess oxalic acid. They look like they're pretty well saturated. So we'll take them, drop them on the scales, see what they weigh. So they've got uh, 32 or 33 grams of oxalic acid and glycerin mixture, which is one, for, one to one by weight, which means that each strip is carrying at least 15 grams, maybe 16 grams of oxalic acid. That was how we prepare the strips that we use to treat 500 hives. And that is our primary treatment. I hope it was useful for you. Good luck with your beekeeping and we'll catch you later.